What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Have to decide to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. It doesn't apply that apply. Everyone has free, free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Free general collective reading. Okay, so I remember to do the song, Just Saying, Just Saying, and let's see what we got. And I got a channel, too, so. Ah, oh, okay, this is interesting. Okay, Taking Me Back by Jack White, and I love that song. Taking Me Back by Jack, Jack White. Okay, well, the channel message I received was um, Libra Masculine is about to help a feminine energy out in a huge way. Um, some investigation, some um, delivering important information for an investigation, and some um, delivering information so the feminine energy can get a very, 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 very large, uh, deserved, well-deserved settlement. That's what I heard. So, taking me back, uh, maybe that resonates um, with the reading. If you were the Libra masculine and this resonates with you or not, um, maybe I feel for some of you Libra masculines, maybe you realized you were wrong about something and you want to make it right. Um, the taking me back energy. But you plug it in your own life however it resonates. If it resonates for you, Libra masculine, you could have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the mid or Jupiter. I feel you actually are a masculine energy with penile parts, or you could be somebody with penile and femme parts, uh, but you definitely have a masculine part for sure, for sure. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. But um, whoever you are, Libra masculine, um, it's some kind of, um, some, you are the investigator. It sounds like some of you are the investigator, some you are delivering information to an investigator, and some, and it's to help out a feminine energy in some shape, form, or fashion. So the whole premise of this is to help out a feminine energy in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, whoever this feminine energy is in your life, only you know your story, not anybody else, so you have to plug it in your life how it resonates. And some, it's to, um, Oh, um, deliver information to help the feminine energy get a very, 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 very large, well-deserved settlement. Um, so maybe you're romantically interested in this feminine energy for some of you Libra masculine. This is what I'm feeling. Maybe you're um, romantically interested or you're just very regretful over something that transpired in the past. And that's the taking me back energy. Like, please forgive me. I was a douche. I messed up. I was wrong, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, possibly. Um, you, only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug in your own life how it resonates. Hope everybody is doing fantastical. Just saying. Okay, I shuffled several times. I've got yin and yang on the bottom of the deck. Number 22 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 22. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number. Possible date of birth number. Possible green card number. Possible um, social security card number. Possible jersey number. Number 22. Um, yin and yang. Which is, um, that's like twin flame duality or just duality, period. I'll see if another song came on, okay. Um, or balance in the situation. In this situation, I feel it could be your twin that you're about to help out. Or it could just be someone you, you wronged in some shape, form, or fashion. And um, you want to help make the situation right. It doesn't have to be your twin. Um, but it's definitely going to bring balance to the situation. I'll tell you that right now balance energy, um, the light and the dark, the yin and the yang, the both spectrums coming together to create balance in the universe, balance being restored, uh, whether you're the investigator, you're the one providing information to the investigator, or you are providing very important information to someone or some people to help this feminine energy get a very, 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 very large, well-deserved settlement. However that resonates, it's going to create lots of balance. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. I feel for some, you could possibly be, ro uh, romantically interested in this feminine energy. Possibly. I didn't hear you were, but possibly, because this is masculine feminine energy. Um, and I heard your masculine energy going to deliver information on a feminine energy. So mas uh, masculine feminine energy here, creating balance in the universe. Spirit messages you have reflected. Holy crap. Hold on. Ow. 
by the way, to let everybody know, the poor little uh, older raccoon passed away. R.I.P. little raccoon. I hated it, but it did. Uh, yeah, oh my gosh. You just keep on getting clearer in the cards and the messages. Fish chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Number 39 could be a very significant number in your life. Number 39, it could be a possible age of years, somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible social security card number, possible green card number, possible um, jersey number, number 39. I want to say, too, um, the original channeled message about a Libra masculine about to help out a feminine energy in a huge way, that one, not the add-ons and all the other channels I just got in here um, after that when I started the reading heavy. But the original one, I had I got it three times yesterday. I just didn't do the reading because <laughs> I was like, oh, dear God. So I decided after Daily Key today, and I ran some errands, very important errands, that I was going to do it. So this is what we're getting. Um, there's a, When I keep getting them and keep getting them and keep getting them, it's a reason. It means I need to put them out. I've learned that over the years. So I'm putting it out. So, I mean, go chakra. Speaking on this situation, speaking on it, um, whoever you are, Libra masculine, you just can't get any clearer in here. I mean, we've got balance. We've got, oh, here are the ages on the bottom of the deck. So this is going to heal the situation. It's going to bring balance to the situation with the yin and yang duality. It's going to heal the situation, heal are the ages. It's going to bring balance and harmony into the universe. Lots of balance is going to be brought here. Lots. Lots and lots and lots. Okay, I heard lots of balance is going to be brought here. Lots and lots and lots. So lots of balance in the universe is going to be brought here. Lots and lots and lots. Yeah, it's going to heal the situation. Or help heal it. It's either going to heal it or help heal it. Whether you're the investigator, whether you're the mas whether you're the masculine investigator, or masculine fem cards, or a masculine person communicating with this investigator, masculine or fem cards. Or whether you're a masculine person delivering very important information to a person or people to help this feminine energy get a very, 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 very large settlement, well-deserved, masculine or masculine fifth parts. It's going to bring balance in the universe. Something has been very, very, very off-kilter in the universe, energetically, balance-wise, because of things people have done in the universe to make it off-kilter and make the energetic balance all off-kilter, basically. Well, when that occurs, it creates chaos and craziness and confusion and lies and manipulation and all kinds of crazy shit in the universe. Um, but this seems like it's going to bring balance. It's going to bring balance or it's either going to bring it or it's going to help restore balance into the universe. However, that resonates in one's life. But when you start throwing lies out in the universe, gossip and slander and create confusion and um, drama and crazy shit, it brings the energetic balance off kilter, and that's just the truth. So, and we got the throat chakra. Speaking on the situation, this is confirmation through the cards and the messages. Speaking on the uh, on the situation, uh, whether you are the investigator, whether you are the person speaking to the investigator or contacting the investigator, or whether you are the person speaking to person or people to help this feminine energy get a very, 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 very large settlement. How would that resonate? Speaking, throw chakra open, speaking on the situation to bring balance and harmony into the universe here. Creating the yin and yang duality. Uh, either help bring it back or bring it back. However that resonates. Wow, this is a beautiful reading. Serious wrongs were done here, and you know this. You're about to really, really help out this situation in a huge way. Okay, I heard serious wrongs were done here, and you know this, and you're about to help out this situation in a huge way. So, you, Libra Masculine, you're about to really, um, you're about to use your air sign energy. Your intellect, your um, poise, your grace, your intellect, and you are about to step up. And your air sign energy and use your intellect. And because I heard you know serious wrongs were done here. So you're not dumb, 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 
you are very smart. You definitely utilize air sign energy. You're very intelligent. You're very smart. You know serious wrongs were done here. You're about to make it right, basically. Using your throat chakra to do so is what I'm strongly feeling here for a lot of you guys. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I heard you're going to help this situation out in a huge way. Well, kudos to you because, you know, when people throw the energetic space off into the universe, it harms people. It harms people and usually many people. That's why people should leave people alone, um, period. Um, and that's how crimes are created. That's how crimes are created and crazy shit starts happening when people don't one, use their intuition, and two, well, greedy. They're greedy, and that's just the truth. But you plug it in, how it resonates. All right. Well, let me see if I hear anything else. One of these Libra's connections with an Aries is about to be very, very, very significant. Very significant. Okay, I heard one of these Libra's connections with an Aries is about to be very, very, very significant. So you Libra masculine, whoever you are, where you're, you're actually the investigator, you're the uh, masculine energy uh, connecting with an investigator, or you are the masculine energy going to communicate to person or people to help this feminine energy get a very, 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 very large settlement. Whoever you are in this mix, Libra masculine, however it resonates for you, if it resonates for you, or you could be somebody connected to these people. Um, a connection, you Libra masculine, it sounds like, whoever you are in these three categories. A connection with at least one of you guys with a Aries is about to be very significant. So an Aries energy, Aries person. They could have Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Femme, Him, or Jupiter, masculine, or Fem, Aries. Um, however that resonates in your life, and I feel you're going to use your throat chakra and communicate with this Aries, and I feel the Aries is going to communicate with you. The Aries is definitely going to communicate with you. They have serious regrets of the past for some. And some, they are realizing the truth in a huge way. Okay, I heard the, um, okay. So, the Aries is definitely going to communicate with you. So, throw chakra energy for both you and the Aries, basically. You and the Aries. But I heard uh, some of the Aries, they're definitely going to communicate with you. So, they're going to use their throat chakra and communicate with you. For some, they have serious regrets of the past, and for some, um, they are seeing the real truth now, and they're, I guess they're going to communicate it with you. So, for some of these Aries, I feel they could have been lied to in some shape, form, or fashion, and they're going to communicate what they're seeing to you in real time and, tr and truthfully, so they're not going to use lies and manipulation is what I'm feeling. And for some Aries, they have severe regret of the past, so I feel they could have lied to you or somebody you're connected to, and maybe they're going to amend their wrongs and make it right and tell the truth this time is what I'm feeling. There's some kind of regret energy of one of these Aries of the past, but one of the Aries I feel was lied to and they're going to tell you the truth or what they're seeing. It feels like in real 3D time or what they've seen in the recent past, how that resonates um, for these Aries. They could have Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Femme, name and Jupiter charts, at least two Aries. You plug it in how it resonates. And one Aries is seeing very, very, very clearly, about to see very, very, very clearly on two feminine Leos, completely, completely, completely opposite. Completely. For some Libras, this will be communicated to, for some, this will be communicated to an Earth sign. Okay, wow. Okay, so we're getting deep in here. Okay, so one of these Aries is about, I heard about to, so that hasn't happened yet. Oh, this None of this has happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming, but the messages have been resonating really quickly in the universe. So even though I heard it three times yesterday, I'm getting lots of downloads in here today. So we're getting it out. But anyways, I heard, it, so it's upcoming. So it might be, you know, an hour from now, three hours from now, three days from now. We don't, you know, everybody's on different timeline paths. But this Aries is about to see different, one of these Aries, whoever they are, it could be either one of these Aries, whether they have severe regret of the past or they were lied to in the past and they're going to they're gonna see the real truth soon and clearly um, and be honest, it sounds like. Um, but whoever these Aries are, one of them is about to see 
huge differences in two feminine Leo energies. So two Leo energies, fem Leo energies. They could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine energy of your chart. They're both feminine Leos. So they both, I feel they might both be sun signs or they might be moon, rising, um, north node, mid haven, Jupiter charts. But definitely Leo in their charts, some shape, form, or fashion, Leo energies, but they're completely opposite Leo energies. This one of these Aries is about to see huge differences in these two Leos. And I heard um, this Aries that's about to see this is about to communicate it to one one of these situations to one of these Libras. So I think one they're about to communicate to and one to an earth sign. So whoever this earth sign is to this um, Aries, I feel it could be a manager, boss, CEO or um, or maybe a friend or a family member or something like that, but some kind of earth sign energy. And there's a reason they're communicating about the differences in these two Leos. That may, excuse me, if that makes sense. Um, huge, huge, huge differences. Huge. Huge, huge, huge differences. It's double confirmation. So huge, huge, huge differences. So um, that's significant. So one of you, Libras, is about to, once you communicate with this Aries, because pulling Aries energy in here very strong, too. They're going to communicate on the differences of these two Leos. It's like night and day. Even though they're Leo energy, fem feminines, they are completely night and day. Of course, it's all on how you grow and manifest yourself. So these two individual Leo fem individuals have completely manifested themselves in two completely opposite ways, basically. Um, and it sounds like one of these Aries is going to communicate this to you, uh, Libra, if this resonates to you. Uh, for you, however that resonates, okay? Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. It's going to create shocking series of chain events. The differences on these two Leos. It's going to create shocking series of chain events. The differences of these two Leos. So these two Leos are completely polar opposites, even though they're two fem Leos in the universe. Um, they're completely opposite. It's going to create shocking series of chain events in some kind of situation, in some shape, form, or fashion. So um, you have to plug in your life how it resonates. Now, one of the Aries is going to communicate it to you, Libra Masculine. And one's going to communicate, it sounds like, to you, Libra Masculine, and an Earth sign. So a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Masculine, or Fem. They are significant in here as well with this Aries. With Aries. I know it's kind of complicated in here today but um that's where we're at so you plug it in how it resonates we have the two leos we have um the aries very significant or the, the two aries Taurus, capricorn virgo with one of the aries and then it sounds like you libras one of you is going to communicate or one or maybe two plus is going to communicate with it sounds like two aries at least maybe for some you're going to communicate with one aries but we've got one that's in severe regret of the past and one that's about to see a situation very, very clearly and they were lied to in the past. So however that resonates, but a lot of communication, a lot of throat chakra communication all over the board here, all over the board. Whether you are the investigator, the person delivering information to it, uh, for an investigation, Libra masculine, or the person that's about to deliver information on... Um, a fem energy to help her get a very, 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 very large settlement well deserved. However, that plugs in your life, Libra masculine. You can have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or fem, midheim, or Jupiter charts if that resonates for you. Wow, we ran a little long. I didn't mean to, but that's where we're at. All right, well, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.